Stephen James, Chair of the Committee. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. This week's employment figures show there are 580,000 fewer people in work now than there were before the pandemic. In particular, there seem to be several hundred thousand older workers choosing now not to work nor to claim benefit either. We all want a full labour market recovery. Does the Minister recognise this is going to require major government investment rather than the disinvestment, which I think he's announcing this morning? Um, I understand the point he makes, and he's, he says it with authority as the chair of the select committee. But I think what he, reali- what he also understands, though, is we are making a major investment into the front end of our, um, uh, our, our, our department, the, f- the customer-facing side. And as I said, we're going to be increasing the number of job centres uh, over the last, year, last two years to 194, 000, uh, to 194. What that will enable us to do is exactly what he wants: is to enable us to provide support for uh, individuals across all ages through the Plan for Jobs.